The U.S. Navy photographed and filmed the spherical-shaped UFO transmedium vehicle. The details. The minimum of 14 targets, minimum 6 foot in diameter, solid mass. Its speeds varying from 40 knots to 138 knots. It is noticed in intelligence reports that the spherical craft appeared to be transmedium capable and was observed descending into the water without destruction. The video of this uh, UFO was obtained from extraordinarybeliefs.com. I will put the link in the description. There is a lot of information on the page pertaining to this UFO. Um, with a summary. Took off. Okay. Omaha, pick me kid, Rocco Pearl's the pass ability to launch Hilo ASAP. This black's a good barrier. Yeah, yeah. Got two wins, three months. Keep going, bro. So, yeah, going down. Down. We're making tents. We could probably bring that 35 relatives. Yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm We got some, a lot of white water up there, some like six foot swells. Well, it's getting close. <laughs> yeah, we have a. Uh, 31 knots sustained wind, yeah. top side, gust of 40. What was splashed? splashed? Splashed. Mark bearing a range. I was like cramming. We've interviewed a number of experts on the show, people familiar with footage in the possession of the U.S. military, who have said there is tape out there of unidentified flying objects descending from the sky and then disappearing into the ocean. Well, today, that video emerged. The Pentagon has just confirmed that the footage is real. You're seeing it now on your screen. It was taken by the Combat Information Center on board the USS Omaha on July 15, 2019, off the coast of San Diego. As far as we know, the UFO in question was never recovered. There was no material indicating a crash. More than that, we don't know. Tom Rogan is a Washington Examiner columnist, well-versed in the subject. He joins us tonight. Tom, what do you think we're looking at here? Uh, well, I think we may well be looking at a, a true unknown, which is to say uh, intelligently controlled uh, machinery uh, that is uh, not understood to be in the possession of the United States, China or Russia, uh, which are the most three most advanced uh, countries in terms of um, military uh, aviation. And, and so, you know, the video in and of itself is is limiting what it can tell us, but I think it speaks to uh, as the Pentagon itself has admitted, uh, this continuing uh, trend of, of truly unexplained things um, coming into the public consciousness more than they have before. If you listen to this with the sound up, you can hear the guys who are monitoring this video in real right. time gasp when it seems to disappear beneath the wave. So this kind of takes the weather balloon off the table or some meteorological phenomenon off the table. I mean. Clearly, we're looking at something that is, as you just put it, being intelligently controlled, and it's going underneath the ocean and then disappearing. I mean, you're, we're sure that this could not be a foreign nation in control. Yeah, I, I, that is the, uh, yes, and that, that is why you see um, people like Senator Rubio leaning into the subject, 
uh, the military office of naval intelligence which really leads the military effort researching this um, there isn't anything that we have top secret information uh, about what China or Russia have or what we have at Area 51 uh, that can do what these things do in terms of the variable performance. And I think specifically relevant to this video, uh, in the coming months and, and years, an area which we will learn more about uh, is the interaction of U.S. Navy submarines, nuclear uh, ballistic missile submarines and attack submarines, um, picking up sonar contact of things moving um, at hundreds of knots under the water. Um, and so there is a undersea dimension to this uh, that the Navy has sort of pushed off to the side as the pilots uh, talk more about their experiences. So, so there's a lot more to come out, I think, is, is the best way to put it. Hundreds of knots underwater. I mean, I think all of us can imagine objects moving at incredible speeds in the air, maybe even approaching, right. you know, the speed of light, potentially. But hundreds of knots underwater, I don't think most people can even digest that. That's been recorded? Uh, that, that's what I've heard from sources, uh, very good sources, and that the Navy has the data. And one of the big things, Tucker, that I think as we move towards this um, Director of National Intelligence report, uh, and I do know that the various agencies are actually taking that more seriously than people might expect, uh, as is DNI, um, one of the things we're going to find is that over a period of decades, a lot of the data uh, a lot of the, the measurement of these things um, has been put off as technical aberration uh, or essentially yeah. a data malfunction because they didn't want to really admit that something very serious and special is going on. I mean, some of this behavior challenges our understanding of physics, so I, I think this is going to, it's going to change a lot of perceptions. Tom, I appreciate it. I hope, I hope we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Tucker.